Uh, we saw before that uh, clouds have a big effect. We observe, we see every day actually that clouds have a big effect on radiation. And uh, so, but how, uh, one thing is to say <coughs> that clouds have a big effect, and the other thing is how we count in our calculation. Also, here we resume some simple, very simple. Um, statistics. So uh, what we do, we add another coefficient inside, which is a CS, the one, the CS that uh, we are here now, okay, and uh, we have this CS, mm. and the CS is the cloud correction. But to obtain this cloud correction, actually we do a um, a uh, little, a little traveling around, because uh, uh, the uh, because actually the way the 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 simplified theory we uh, we use uh, uh, were built not because there is something particular. In fact, we uh, if we remind what we said before, we subdivided the, the short wave solar radiation in two, two components. One is the diffuse one and one is the, uh, the direct one. Usually here the direct one is signed with S while the diffuse with D, small d. And the sign of the error means the way the direction where the radiation is incoming, outcoming. Uh, so, uh, you know, we have this uh, for uh, direct solar radiation and we have this for diffuse solar radiation. And uh, the, this is the correction coefficient. We have two correction coefficients for, for both of them. We obviously know that uh, direct solar radiation plus diffuse solar radiation gives the total radiation, which is called here ST with a half two. And this is, uh, and for the first time, up here one information that we were not using before, which is measured at the station. Uh, in fact, uh, we, uh, we, at the end, we also have to cope with the idea that we have a, a measurement station on the ground that measures radiation, some gains that measure radiation. So we have the other two terms. Uh, all this model we, that we are using um, uh, make this assumption and say, okay, what is the diffuse radiation that we measure down there in the position I in our station? That's important to, to, to keep in mind. Well, this is considered proportional to the incoming solar, total incoming solar radiation arrived there, times a coefficient, which is a property of the position I, and, uh, and this is the KE. And this is the reduction, uh, uh, reduction coefficient for diffuse radiation as we estimate. So if we take this, uh, this formulation and we uh, put back on the, the equation we had before, so we have that, this, uh, that our previous uh, coefficient of reduction in the position i is given to this kd i, the uh, total, uh, okay, here I change for some reasons the short, uh, the R, I call the total uh, solar radiation down <coughs> in the position I, diffuse the, uh, divided by the diffuse solar radiation at the position I. This is uh, important because at the end, uh, to determine such, such coefficient, we need to use some measurements, some, some, some measures somewhere. And uh, for, 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 for the same reason, 
our reduction coefficient in the formulation of radiation is 1 minus KD. for the total short wave radiation divided by the diffuse radiation. And the whole literature is based on the determination of this KD, which are, which are uh, called um, the, um, the, composition, the composition models. We have, uh, during the, let's say, the last uh, 40 years, 50 years, a lot of empirical formulation, empirical formula were proposed to calculate those KDs. And those close our problem of calculating radiation. Uh, there are some more famous than others, which is some Hertz, or Island, Boland. And these are all in the paper which is cited here, that is also in your material, complementary material, the law uh, the, the whole list of, uh, of things. And, uh, and then all these <coughs> models have, uh, have parameters to be changed and fixed. We have another topic here, which is uh, if KD are measured by at, at point stations, <coughs> or evaluated the point station, what happens, and this is the northern or Veneto region here in Italy, close to here, Belluno province, or for hydrologists, the, uh, the high Chiave uh, catchment. Here we have those stations there. Uh, in those stations, we measure this, uh, the reduction, the transmissivity, all, the, all this type of thing, and then we have only those points. But obviously what we need is a, a, a radiation correction on all the points of the basin. So from our point of view, what we can do, and this is why in the last uh, lecture we also introduced to you the interpolation, we can interpolate the coefficients to obtain the reduction on the to take the reduction of the of the solar radiation all over the landscape. 